Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Rask as if this is the first time you're using it. You can either go on an iPad through the app provided, or you can go online through the school website. And that's how we're going to start out with this on the school website. So the first place I'm going to click on is Students. And then I'm going to go to Raz Kids. And then I'm going to click on Kids Login. Now it's important to note that the login that we're using today is from last year and that you will have your own teacher login and your own password. So I'm going to use the Miss Betts, who is one of our third grade teachers. I'm going to use her login for now, but you would have your own teachers. And Miss Betts' login will be changing. So even if you have her, you will get something different. Now I got an error message and this is a common thing for a lot of the children because we call our district District 102 and that's exactly what I typed in, 102, but we're really District 102. So let me go back and fix that. So 102. So if your child can't log in, that's probably the first mistake they made. Now I'm going to borrow one of our students, Rebecca. We're going to go into her account and the children would have in their classroom, they would have their own classroom listed. And then I'm gonna turn the computer so you don't see Rebecca's private login. There you go. And that brings you right to the reading room. And when you click on the reading room, this is again a third grade account. It might, the books might look a little older than for your child. We get to see that there are three choices. Now for the younger children, there's only two choices. And the two choices would be to listen to the book or to actually read the book. As their reading level gets higher, like Rebecca's has of course, then they'll also have the extra part of asking you questions. Now let's look at it on the iPad. It should look pretty close to the same. So I'm going to go right to Raz Kids. And then here you see that we have just some student, we have some teachers listed. So I want to go back to type in Miss Betts, B-E-T-Z. This time I'm going to be careful that it is one, zero, two. And I'm going to go back to the same child again. And again, I'm going to turn so you don't see her private password. And it takes us to, again to the reading room. And again, when we click on there, she can either listen to a story, she could read the story, or when she's done, she could ask questions. And you'll see that there are several books. I recommend going in order so that you don't skip any steps. And that's how you use Raskins. Bye.